Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today you will be watching Web API Benchmarking Java Spring Boot vs Rust Warp. So this is another uh, benchmark with a huge, let's say, uh, opponent, the Java uh, language and specifically the Spring Boot uh, framework. Uh, so this is our Spring Boot framework. We again return 1000 users just like always. And this is our uh, Rust Warp endpoint with 1000 users. So this is the test. We will hit these endpoints and we will get these users back. Let me quickly show you the Spring Boot application, even though there will be a repository linked uh, for you to check the code. In essence, all we have is a, a user class, uh, just like our Rust code. And here we have the user's endpoint, and we just return a list of 1000 users, as you can see here, we loop and we add 1000 users here and we return the users. So this is the application and let's get into the benchmarking. Of course, if you see any opportunities for uh, improving something, you can create a pull requests in the Java, in the repository that I will link or you can offer your suggestions. Uh, but for now, this is the application. So let's come here to our terminals. Uh, we are ready here. And uh, first of all, let me show you how I run the Java application. This is how I run it. I make a clean Maven uh, install and then I run with Java the jar file that is created locally and this is also installed it's copied somewhere in my home directory but it's the same we we run the jar file so let's run this application again let's make sure that it still works it works excellent so now let's start benchmarking so we will uh, start with the Apache Bench and uh, this is the command that I will run. I will first execute a, a few requests just to warm up the system and then we will execute the normal uh, Bench with 500,000 uh, requests and 1,000 concurrent requests. So let's start executing and let's check the resources here. We have CPU about 45%, 42% and memory 900 megabytes currently. The utilization is quite good. As you can see, all the cores are utilized at about 50% uh, of its capacity by default. And the memory is still uh, solid 900 uh, megabytes. So we are done. Uh, I have to remember to copy the stats in order to add them to the description of the video and we will do the same here we will execute some requests to warm up the system and then we execute the same amount of requests here so let's start CPU 37 currently, memory 16, uh, 17 megabytes. The distribu distribution is different as you can see of the CPU utilization. 
and the memory is 17 megabytes currently so we have our results let's first of all let me get these results in order for me to have them in the description so let me get this and let me get this too copy and now let's start uh, the comparison here we are users time taken for tests uh, 41 seconds for Java Spring Boot 35 for uh, uh, Rust Warp failed requests none failed requests none here too uh, request per second 12,000 request per second 14,000 time per request 83 milliseconds 71 milliseconds transfer rate 1 million 205 uh, thousand 1,395,000 let's come down here and 71, 73, 80 and longest request 11, 15, 10, 90 so yeah as you can see Rust is uh, outperforming Java Spring Boot but I would say that uh, this Java framework and this application performs quite well I would say impressively well uh, according to what I would expect and we also saw that uh, Java the way we execute the application let me stop it so this kind of execution with Java itself the Java servlet serv servlet yes you see that it utilizes our um, CPUs quite well. So let me re-execute. Yeah, pretty in interesting, pretty impressive for Java, way to go. But Rust still outperforms uh, Java. So let's go, let's proceed to the other bench of WRK. Let me come here and let me get the uh, So we will uh, execute for one minute the test and 1000 concurrent requests and six threads The system is already warmed up so let's start and let's see here what we get Interesting, the CPU usage is maxing out. Hopefully, we will not have any issues with the video recording, but I don't know currently. The memory usage is uh, 1.8 gigabytes. Two point one gigabytes, eighty percent CPU usage. So it takes advantage of all our CPUs, as you can see, which is very impressive. I mean the workload distribution. This is very nice to see, uh, but the resources, of course, were yeah as you can see 2.1 gigabyte which is um, understandable since it's garbage collected and we have a lot of objects we create so yeah let me get this result copy and let's do the same for uh, Rust six threads 1060 so let's run and let's come here
CPU is less utilized as you can see. The memory of course is hugely less, 24 megabytes. The load on the CPUs is not so much as with Java. We will see uh, the final result if this is good or bad because if the load is less but we have a worse result so compared to Java of course this is not good. If the result is better it means that we outperform Java with less, with less CPU usage and of course less memory usage. So we have our result. So let me get these two. Copy. Okay, we have all our results, so let's start comparing. Latency 61 milliseconds, 55 milliseconds. Max 1.23 seconds, max 384 milliseconds. Request per second 2.93k, 3.26k. Max 6.11k. 4.02k total requests uh, 1 million 40,000 500 1 million 166,137 99 gigabytes red 110 gigabytes red request per second 17,300 19,400 transfer rate 1.66 gigabytes, 1.48 gigabytes. So uh, Rust outperforms uh, Java Spring Boot. Uh, we had uh, more usage, more CPU usage here, as you, as you remember, and here Rust with less CPU usage outperforms Java Spring Boot which is impressive again. Uh, so yeah, the overall re result is again that Rust outperforms Java, but I repeat that I'm quite impressed with uh, the throughput of the Java application and how it utilizes the system resources. Uh, it seems that the JVM is doing a lot under the hood for us which is good so yeah these are the the stats this is the data uh, but for me i would go again with rust because of the reasons that i have explained many times plus one more reason is i feel that java just like c sharp uh, has a lot of burden uh, accompanied with it a lot it, it is very verbose as a language and I don't like this myself of course other people love Java or C sharp but this is uh, my personal opinion so yeah this is it uh, I hope uh, that you find this uh, video useful the stats useful the benchmarking useful so that you can uh, make educated uh, uh, choices in the future. Thank you for watching and have a great day.